Rush Hour for Wednesday. It is September 11th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at the Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers. They are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears. Let's get right into Bears news. They went back to work today up at Hallis Hall. Injury report, not overly concerning, but here's what it looks like. Keenan Allen was given a veteran day off as he deals with with a bit of a tender heel, but they do not expect that to be a problem uh, for Sunday night football against the Texans. No Rome Adunze. He is listed now instead of week to week, which is what was being reported yesterday. He's now day to day as he's got a strain in his knee, which Matt Eberflew said he did not feel that Sunday night, but when he came in Monday morning, he told the trainers, knees bother me a bit. That's why they did the MRI. And no Demarcus Walker. He has a bit of a foot problem, but he is also expected to go on Sunday. Bears put in their first day of game plan install. They get the Texans in Houston on Sunday night football. Bears a six and a half point underdog. And they will wear orange uniforms for SNF. I love them. I don't know what you think. You're welcome to post a comment here if you'd like to. The community always likes to come together and talk about the uniform choices, but I like the orange. And Tyreek Stevenson was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Had a really solid game in the pick six that gave the Bears the victory. Dolphins stand out. Tyreek Hill, who had that crazy video go viral the other day of him being arrested en route into the stadium when he pulled in in his sports car and was yanked out of the car by Miami-Dade police. Well, he said today, quote, I could have handled my traffic stop better. But he also issued a statement through his attorney asking for the officer who got physical with him twice, once pulling him out of the car, once driving him down to the ground to be terminated. White Sox lost their 114th game this afternoon. Check out the recap. It's up here on the channel. Cubbies go for a series sweep of the Dodgers in LA tonight. Recap when that game goes final. And here is our Ankin Law question of the day. 3126 million for the great Howard Ankin. Put that lawyer in your phone injury law made personal. The question is directed more to you Cubs fans, but certainly to baseball fans. What is the biggest thing that held the Cubs back so far this year and they're four back in the wild card? And what do they have to fix? Is it A, the offense, B, the bullpen? 23 blown saves, 16 of which ended up in losses. Give them half of those, and that's a lousy percentage. You're a playoff team. For me, it's the bullpen. Winner of the best comment posted right here on YouTube, not on Twitter, you get a gift card. To Lou Malnati's, go to loumalnati's.com and try their Malnati's meal deals. Have a great rest of your night. Appreciate you greatly. See you for Cubs Recap. Take that.